you know what? We're going to watch the live streaming is a dystopian nightmare. Live streaming has to be the most interesting form of content creation to study, at least for myself. Something about the dynamic between the viewer and the live streamer is so dystopian. It seems as if it's a problem of the modern world. I think right? a lot of people are under the impression that these relationships are one-sided. But I think as time goes on, we're starting to realize that it's a two-way street. I'm In fact, it's too. not just the viewer getting some false sense of relationship from the streamer. Today Wait we're gonna a second, so it's too loud? Sorry watch this awesome op doc that I found or opinion documentary titled inside the daily life of a live streaming star in is this good is that good okay in China and even though you might have to read subtitles to understand what's going on the cinematography and stylistic choices they used in this thing uh, it's insane five hundred and sixty million people watching live stream Oh my god. First of all, the audience for live streaming in China is nearly double the population the people of people in living in the US. Yeah. Agencies have emerged to recruit, train, and promote scores of new live streaming stars. Now in theory, that's, that's kind of what they do with K-pop, I'm pretty sure too. Is they try to find these people and then they just kind of uh, groom them in a way that they can just be like this perfect little version of themselves. Sounds great. Off the bat, we get the sense that this streamer is dead inside. I think that being dead inside is probably a, maybe an exaggeration. I think that this is not something, this is something they show up at nine and they leave at five. And that, that's about it. It's like the greeters at Walmart. Hi, welcome to Walmart. The greeter doesn't give a fuck about you. His job's to stand there and say, hey. And like his real job is to stop the guy that tries to run out and steal broccoli. That's really his job. But, you know, it's also to wave at the customers and make them feel like Sam Walton gives a fuck about him. This is Napoleon Dynamite. The creepiest thing for me is staging an office space to look like a bedroom or a cozy streaming setup. Meanwhile, you're in some cubicle working like 15 hours a day. Streaming is supposed to have some sort of human connection. At least that's where the parasocial relationship stems from. When you Which it doesn't, it does, streaming does not have to have a parasocial relationship. Streaming just has to be entertaining. Like that's all, that's all you need. You just need a show that's funny to fucking watch. Like, you don't have to have, and, and like, I've always thought, it's like, it's not a super good idea to try to farm weirdos that think that they know you. It's like, I, I you know, like this channel, Zach Rar, I'm on my second Twitch channel right now. Uh, people call me Zach, it makes sense, because it's my name on Twitch, uh, on my second channel, it's my name on Twitter. I think everybody knows very regularly, my name is Zach. But, like, people that go around and they call streamers that never fucking use their first name, they, they're like, oh, yeah, it's Mike, or, oh, it, it's uh, Felix. Like, holy shit, guys. D dial it back a little bit. Please. It's problematic, man. It's kind of weird. Yeah, they do that. Like, SQC has that. Uh, like, uh, Soda Poppin has that, uh, Miz has that, I have that too, right? I'm not saying that, like, oh, these other guys are dumb, and I'm not like them. Of course, everybody has these people, right? But, like, it's just that kind of attitude is, um, very problematic. You stage an office space to I, I look like weird. a bedroom. You're giving your viewers the false sense of reality, yet you're aware that you have to kind of lie. This tells me that these agencies are hyper aware of the fact that these parasocial relationships do exist. And they're well, they're farming lonely simps. That's why every single person in the video is a girl. Like, let's just call it what it is. That's what it is. And uh, I don't think it should be illegal. I don't think that it's bad, but I do think that it is that. That's what it is. 
manufacturing everything down to the set to give their viewers a false sense of reality. Of course, it's intimacy. Oh, look at that. Another one. What a surprise. And every single one of them is attractive. Like, I, I mean, it's the thing. It's like, I mean, just, just again, call it what it is. Like, farming this shit is so, it, it, it's so popular. Relatively high expectations of her. Oh, boy. Even though she's probably live in front of thousands of people, she looks pretty lonely. Special plans for the Christmas season. It's, I always find it to be crazy that like so many people buy into something that's so obviously fabricated. It's always incredible to me to see that happen. It's like people that, you know, actually sleep with a body pillow. Right? Like, not one that just gets sit in a P.O. box, but they go to Hot Topic and they buy it themselves. Like, I, 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 I don't get it. I don't understand. Like, I just... Why? Like, what are you doing with your life? Do you see? She's stressed out. Sleep for a moment. Oh, I got a good idea. Why don't they just start introducing sleep streams to China? That'll go. The best part about him saying that is it's actually a great idea. Over really well. Minimum salary, $120 a month. Oh my God. $30,000 to $45,000 worth of donations every month. That is a lot of fucking money. That's a lot of fucking money, man. Oh my god. And it's not a surprise. I think people, you know, it's like this is what happens on Twitch too. I mean, absolutely. How much does she sleep? I don't know. Milking simps. Yeah, it's just like that's just it is what it is. There's a huge market for that kind of stuff, man. It's crazy. It's even getting bigger here on, on in the US. It's 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 sad. To see so many guys do this. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with, like, watching a girl streamer and donating if you like them. But I'm going to be honest. I do think there's something wrong if you're donating to a female streamer and you think that this is going to increase your chances of having some sort of potential relationship with them. Like, this is not healthy and it is bad. Like, it's unhealthy, it's fucking weird, and, like, I don't think, like, the girls, like, yeah, they, they, like, they, they make it to, like, oh, yeah, sure, but it's the guy's fault. It's your fucking money that you're putting in your goddamn credit card information making this fucking withdrawal. I don't want to hear about how it's her fault. This is not Sirens fucking convincing Odysseus to land his ship on the rocks, okay? You gotta fucking have some personal accountability. Stop being a goddamn simp and spending your fucking money thinking that you're going to donate to a girl and she's going to be your girlfriend. Grow the fuck up. Just buy her OnlyFans or buy, look at the leaks on Google. Quit being a fucking loser. Pathetic. No, one of my darlings is here. Generated from direct donations from fans. Yeah. Probably ads too. Mister, wow, what a surprise! I could have never guessed this. Yeah. I understand that live streaming platforms all take a cut of revenue from their streamers, yet yeah. something about this is just so strange. There's not like a Twitch employee in my closet ready to reach his hand into my pockets. She literally works in a cubicle in a building where they're all just like operating and moderating, just hacking into the That look like a bedroom. That looks like a bedroom. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I mean, uh, they just do a solo and get much more money. I wonder why they don't do it. Well, it's because the agency probably takes like 10 to 20 percent and they make all the decisions for the person. The person never has to worry about their content. Like imagine if like as a live streamer, you never had to worry about like what content you had to do ever again. You just had somebody who just immediately is like, all right, it's Tuesday. 
Uh, you're gonna play Fall Guys for three hours. Uh, you're gonna win the first two games, so like make sure you're on point for that. Afterwards, just kind of do whatever you want. Rage quit the last game. After that, you're gonna react to a video of dogs. And then after you watch react to the video of dogs, we're gonna run an ad break and you're gonna do a sponsored segment. And then after that, you play World of Warcraft and ban people from chat. Like, I would be pretty fucking easy. Because you already know, like, it's like you're, this is a job. It's like you're just clocking in. Yeah, you just, you just clock in, you clock out, all right, we're done. Fucking mainframe, man. Like, any sort of joy and comfort is just sucked out of this. You have to go to work. Well, I don't think that there is a, I, I actually, I, I disagree that there needs to be any joy or comfort in it fundamentally. I think that the people that need joy and comfort put into live streams are just trying to have some emotional connection with the live streamer. Just watch the fucking, like, Ben-Hur, somebody died making Ben-Hur. The movie's great. I don't have an emotional connection with the people that made the movie. I just want to watch the movie. That's it. Every day, put on a show, then come home. Versus just like clicking end stream and going to sleep. <laughs> man, Philia needs to get back on Twitch, man. Like he's, he's about two years out of date. He, I wonder if he knows about the ASMR section. I bet he might watch my shit because I've talked to him before. Philian is fucking cool, by the way. I'll link you guys this video so y'all can like and like give him a sub. But like, I wonder if he's seen the fucking ASMR section. Oh man, he knows. Yeah. Okay. I'd had to do that yesterday. Oh, by design, live streaming in China seems a lot more like putting on a show and playing a character instead of just yeah, being- Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't think that's a bad thing, really. It's just about doing something that you like doing. Uh, I mean, like, there are many, like, pretty much every day. Like, if you go and you look at, like, my, uh, my, my streams, like, I, I pretty much would stream every day. Like, especially if you count, like, my second stream, I'm streaming every fucking day. And I never think to myself, oh, wow, like, I'm burnt out, I don't want to stream. No, because I like doing it. So, like, if you do something and you don't like doing it, stop fucking doing it. Or, or, or have a healthy balance of how much you do like it and how much you don't like it yourself she didn't say i'm tired she said my heart is tired she is existentially dead yet her manager's like oh there's gonna be a hard month we can stop once you've made enough money yeah. she seems so stressed man i would just start going bald which is why today's video is sponsored by keeps keeps is an online subscription okay. service that helps men okay. keep their yeah. hair they offer clinically proven treatments to help combat the symptoms of go. hair loss is with keeps right? you get quality expert care without ever visiting a doctor's wow. office all all of targeted. Keeps it's treatment not, plans are doctor recommended and delivered right to your doorstep and targeted. they're affordable, typically half the cost of pharmacy prices. With Keeps, you will receive 24-7 expert care and support. Keeps has a network of expert medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists to support you in making your hair goals a reality. Bro, Each like, there's no way that shit's gonna work. Like, I, listen, the only reason why I don't believe that any of this shit works is because Jeff Bezos is bald. Like, that's probably half of the reason why I don't believe in hair regrowth solutions. Well, because, I mean, like, there's no way. I mean, fuck, man. Finstride works for me. I think that it might. Like, I, I think also it could be, like, one of those things where, like, it works for some people. Like, Keeps might work for some people. Uh, Rogaine might work for other people. You know, it's like one of those things.
Treatment plan also comes with one year of unlimited you messaging, you so you can connect with your prescribing doctor to talk about anything, anytime. Keeps offers routines that work for you. Whether you're looking to stimulate hair growth, prevent further hair loss, or just take better care of your hair, Keeps has you covered. Wow. In addition to clinically proven treatments, Keeps has an award-winning all-natural thickening shampoo and conditioner system. Rest that. assured that Keeps physicians will help you select the right products for your specific hair condition and hair goals. You can also easily Easily subscribe to Keeps Refill Reminders so you never run low on the products you need to take care of your hair. Oh, hair good. loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com slash Philion or click the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot -E -E com slash Philion. And thank you to mm -hmm. Keeps for sponsoring this video. Use the sponsor code? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 那我們現在的流程是呃新主播可能先到公司培訓一兩個月,可能有的時間長一點的可能三四個月,然後呢會在公司這20幾個直播間裡面進行直播,等到他出席。You uh, know what this reminds me of kind of is like you know those farms where they just like breed animals, like puppy farms and stuff like that. Get, this gives me the same general vibe. 定个出行之后，他们就可以呃拿着设备回家直播。Everything is min-maxed. It's all about profits and maximizing how much money you can squeeze out of your viewers. It's just. I mean, I think people here do that too. Everybody like that. That's just what people do if they're trying to make a living, right? I mean, like, it's about. I think that the main thing that I find problematic about it is that it's selling this like false thing it's completely disingenuous and it's intentionally disingenuous it's like people can like i, I can dislike it i don't think they sh it should be illegal i don't think they should have to stop i just don't like it disgusting they're all just hamsters in a wheel powering this giant cog yeah. this machine of live streaming that just sucks the joy out of life it's accelerationist yes. to the max Five, Would they teach him TikTok dances? Six, you need to look as adorable as possible. Oh yeah, do the cat. Ooh. Ooh, be a kitty cat. Oh my god. You know what? This probably exists in LA too. Who am I kidding? If you want to be a live streamer, what do you mean, probably? Streamer, you have to do this route. You can't just be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it. Nope, of course, some agency is there to <laughs> suck all your life out of your soul. Oh, of and you have to be hyper competitive and do these fucking dance moves and attend these camps. Well, it's because like also Jen was all about sexy shorts and so on. Yeah, obviously, like, <laughs> what do you think that it was about? Taking the sexy route pulls in low quality fans. Well, it's true. I, I mean, really, it, it, it's fucking true. Th these girls, like, they, they do this. Like, you read the chat of some of these girls, like, in a pool or something like that. You fucking read this chat and. These are people that are typing with one hand, and they don't even try to take their time. They're just, yeah, the coomers are low quality. They don't have any fucking money. They're like 19-year-olds, and it's like they're talking at chat. They're like, wow, I love you. You know, please put on the red bikini again. You're fucking great. And then after they finish, like, fuck you, stupid bitch. And then they leave, and then you can look at their chat history, and they've done it 37 times. You see what I'm saying? Like, this, it, it, these people are animals, man. And it's like, yeah, you have, like, a girl that's a little bit more, uh, you know, reserved. And you get guys that have maybe a bit more money. And they think that, like, oh, this is, like, a real thing. Right? Because a lot of people like that. I mean, you've got a lot of nerds that are just totally socially fucking inept. Like, they, like I'm talking about how they're socially inept, which means that they're really socially inept, right? And that's just what happens because they're, they're not just socially inept, they're naive. They don't understand, like, what's going on.
And I think that oftentimes they do understand it, but they don't want to. So they pretend like that's not the case. The real whales, the oilers, the aristocrats, the yeah. heavy spenders will not tolerate such promiscuity. Right. Put the bookshelf Oh my god. So it's actually like a set. It's not like, oh, it's just a bedroom. Like, everything in the background is like fucking... Bro, like, they min-max this more than PoE. Like, I, I just got done playing PoE. I'm like thinking like, oh, how the fuck am I going to get lightning resist if I change my, my, uh, my necklace, but I need to get my shield to have more armor so maybe I could get a reduced, uh, you know, reservation cost on, on purity of the elements. Like, this is the same fucking thing, but it's real life. <laughs> <laughs> they have fake, fake fucking books. books, man. You can't even get real books back there? Are you kidding me? Holy fuck. I find that to be kind of funny. That they don't even have real books. She tapped that shit, it was like a 2 by 4 Isn't it more work to source fake books than just yeah. slapping a couple of tomes behind you? Yeah, Where you do just... you even buy exactly. fake hollow books? That's, yeah, it's crazy. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it. Well, <laughs> but where do you think they're going? It's like everything, right? It's like the 1% of people have most of the money. They pay most of the fucking money. In business, it's called the 80-20 rule. In Bernie Sanders' life, it's called the 1% own 55% of all the resources in America. And it's like, this is just, that's just how it is, man. It's just how it fucking is. So yeah, of course they're gonna try to go towards the whales. <laughs> Today's a lot lesson of is a journey into the rich people and yeah. how they spend their bread. Everyone here wants to increase profit. Like getting rich guys to visit your live stream more often. Yep. Oh, Notice yeah. how they say rich guys. I didn't say anything more. I'm just saying rich guys. I'll because say it. It's obvious. Everybody knows it. There's no hiding it. It's not even really wrong. But it is what it is. Men are depraved. Some of you others aren't so pretty. Damn. Some of you are beat. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking hits him with the reality check, man. That's mean. But the thing is, like, it... It's not, it's mean, but it's true. Life is mean. Nature's mean. There's some people that just get born with less talent points than other people. Some people get born, they look good. Other people don't. That's just it. Like, they, they fucking don't. You are but. You see, when it comes to live streaming girls, you have to find your niche, yeah. okay? Not everybody can be hot. Some of you have to play the innocent card. Make them feel as if they have a chance with you. Yeah. Give the user a feeling of... Whoa, 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 hold up. With you. Of a, of a pure first love. Oh my god. Oh wow, look at this. It's getting fucked up. I think this is hilarious, to be honest with you. I The thing is, like, I, I always... Yeah, it's like manipulative, like, yeah, sure. But like, if you get fucking baited by this, I don't feel bad for you. I, I don't, I, I don't feel bad for you. Like, it's just, you, you did this to yourself. You, you are ruining your own life. You need to have, it's like, I, I, I feel like so many times nowadays, people fucking want the entire world to, uh, to, to exist around them rather than being able to control their impulses it's nuts men are so weak well it's because they get rewarded for it they get they get rewarded for it and they get told that it's somebody else's fault you've got these losers 
people like Andrew Tate, etc., going around and saying that it's the women's fault. No, it's not. It's your fault. It's your fucking money. It's, it takes some fucking accountability for your life. Yeah, it's your fucking fault. A real rich guy isn't going to be bragging about his money in your live streaming room. Yeah, hear that, guys? Yeah, hear that? Huh? The same thing about video game achievements. characteristics of rich users. Okay. They're lonely. <laughs> Fucking rich, single, you know, like a 29-year-old software engineer that's, that, that like doesn't have a girlfriend. That lives by himself. Yep, all right, there you go. Rich equals lonely. Well, it does make sense, though, right? Because if you're rich, you're probably out there making money all the fucking time, right? You don't have time to go find a girl, and so you come home and you fucking do this bullshit. It actually makes sense. Always a software engineer example. Yep. Right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I like the parallel action of her talking about rich guys, and boom, we have a male suspect on the loose. Yep. She comes and lurks in the live stream room for a while. That smirk is remember she reads his name. Oh my god. I'm positive this dynamic exists all over the world. However, it absolutely does. And it has always existed. It's like Grug in order to like you know show off to the the chieftain's daughter well what he did is he went out and he killed himself a bear and he brought her back the heart of the bear he's not bringing back a wolf heart or a squirrel no it's a fucking bear heart and yeah this has been happening ever since the very beginning of time it's just what guys do when you compare streaming in the US to say China, where there are strict gender roles, of course they're gonna be boot camps about how to reel in the big spenders. Yeah. It's just exacerbated to the extreme, so of course you're gonna get boot camps on how women can lure men into spending all of their hard earned capitalist dollars and siphon it into their bank account. Exactly. <laughs> I'm only $10,000 away from being a 7th level fan. I got a question for you guys. So, what's worse? Being a whale in a video game or being one of these people? I think that this is worse, personally. I think these are, I think this is worse. Because if you're a whale, you know that there's, this is never, like... It's, you know that it's a video game, right? These people are not really aware of that. You see what I'm saying? Like, there's the implication of it. The implication and the hope that it can be something more. With a video game whale, it's always going to be just more power in a video game. Chinese one-child policy has created this culture. I think that this has exacerbated it, but are we really going to pretend like this isn't the same type of thing that people do in uh, like places like Korea, and they do it in America, too? This is nothing special here. Haven't we, didn't we watch the video about how Nickelodeon would train the child stars to act in certain ways? There's nothing, nothing special. Like, yes, obviously in China, it's been exacerbated because they wanted to have males for, like, a cultural reason, and it's, like, a big thing, right? However, this is all over the world. Even if it's a little bit worse in China. How do, you, how do I become a 7th level fan? Add some zeros behind it. If you really just... What did, what did he say? 
He gave her $75,000. Yeah. If you really just That's want to milk and massage the parasocial relationship, you introduce a fan tier system. Yeah, yeah. tier one, tier two, tier three, get out of here. We're talking donation caps advances you to the- Yeah, it's like China's got it all, all like they, they got it, they got it on lock, right? I mean, like over here, like we've only got tier three subbed. I mean, like get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, tier three subbed. Next tier. tier. This man's ten thousand dollars away from being tier a tier seven, seven fan. Listen, yeah. you throw the limit, people will jump that high. Absolutely. It's, to make it to <laughs> it's really one. sad to see somebody spend all of their hard-earned money and just give it to a streamer, and they're like, "Drain me." Yet it's also really sad to see somebody extremely rich sending substantial amounts of money to a streamer, and they're just unfazed by it because they're so out of touch. Well, they're just like the thing is. There will always be ways that stupid people find to ruin their own lives. Always. If it's licking poisonous frogs, uh, eating things that have a chance to kill you, gambling, doing crack, uh, anything. Like, it's just driving without a seatbelt. It's just, at a certain point... <laughs> There are some people that have, like, a disposition to remove themselves from the gene pool. And that's just a fact. They used to call it the Darwin Awards. Those are plastic books. Don't be fooled. Those are plastic books. Make you a singer. What she's really saying is that you can't fucking sing for shit. And so you have to be a live streamer, sorry. I would have to assume that male streamers are just not a thing in China. I can't envision that being a reality. They're probably shunned into being like a corporate slave. <laughs> I guarantee that's the biggest donator. Absolutely. He's playing coy. He's being a little sneaky. <laughs> yep. He's about to donate, yeah. I too don't like IRL streaming and being a nuisance. I always feel very self-conscious whenever I, uh, I IRL stream anywhere and I'm being an animal. Like I remember like I would I went to a Wendy's once and I showed the store number of the Wendy's that I was at and people were calling the Wendy's and they're like is try hard there. It's like oh fuck now I have to leave. Because it's like they're making eight dollars, nine dollars an hour. Do I really need to make their life worse? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go home. Like let's just go home, sit in the backyard. Ah, uh, this is too much. What the fuck did you just say to me? You're gonna stream in the cafeteria, and you're gonna like it! Well, that's kind of different. Sending gifts to your actual fans to strengthen the parasocial relationship even more. And quite honestly, entrepreneurial because oh, yeah. you are solidifying that parasocial. Well, it's like fishing, right? You just, just put the lure out there. You put bait on the lure. You put a worm, a little shrimp, something like that. Yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't just put the fucking hook. Sometimes they don't bite the hook on its own. You know, you get the little flashy boys, and sometimes they'll bite the flashy boys, but sometimes they don't. <laughs> so you gotta put put some food on there. Relationship with a physical gift. Like that's water. five head. That is that is five hundred IQ. <laughs> Uh, 
。啊，虽然说这个辣椒已经就是吃完了，用完了，但是啊，我并没有就是把它当普通的辣椒那样就丢掉，而是把它包括包装也是很完整的保留下来。It's just an amaranth fart jar <笑>。<笑>并不是说那种，嗯，现实中的朋友，那就感觉他这样做，真的让我很感动，就给我感觉到他是真的把我当成朋友那种。Oh no, dude. I really think that these guys, I really, I really want to say, these guys need a fucking reality check. They need a fucking reality check, and I am not going to sugarcoat this. I'm not going to say, "Oh, well, actually, it's because you know these girls are manipulating you." No, you pathetic pussy bitch! Stop giving people your money that don't know your name. What are you doing? It's fine to donate fifty dollars, five dollars, three bucks to get your message read for TTS. Everybody listens to it. It's funny. Or like, let's say you like something. You've been watching for a long time. You donate twenty bucks. Okay, yeah, that's fine. But we're talking about seventy-five thousand dollars, and more important than the money, it's the emotional connection. The emotional connection is not fucking excusable. It's pathetic. Some of these guys are in pain. Oh, they're in pain. It's everybody else's fault. The world needs to pad themselves. Every everything in the world needs to change because I'm in pain. Get the fuck out of here, you little bitch. Nobody gives a fuck about you. Take some accountability for your life. Oh, so pathetic. Get the fuck out of here. Like nobody cares. He did this for me. The delusion. Uh, it's virtual relationships can be as intimate as real life relationships. Yeah, I think we've all had good friends online. Yeah, like、uh, we've all had friends online that like we've known for like a long time, and we consider them a real friend. Like, yeah, yeah, real shit. But. This is not the same thing, right? This isn't like your boys that you've been playing. You know, you played PUBG with them, and then you fucking go to Fortnite together, and like, you know, maybe now like you're playing some other fucking game together, right? Hoping Warzone Two, like the boys are gonna get back together, play again. You know, no, this is like some fucking weird shit. This is some weird shit. They don't really care about you. If you were a guy, they wouldn't care about you. That's a fact. They want you for one thing. That's what it is. That's what it is. Don't, don't, don't pretend. Don't pretend. That's what it is. They've just convinced themselves in a positive feedback loop that they're the only ones sending. There are guys that are fans of female streamers that actually do care about them and like them, but a lot of the people that do this kind of stuff, they're lonely and they're looking for some sort of like emotional connection with a female. That's what they're doing. That's that's what it is. The messages and money. Don't get it twisted. This kind of space can replace the friendship you have with your friends. That kind of space. See again. This is what I'm saying before, right? It is like this bullshit. I do think. Uh uh. No, replace think with hope. That that's what it is. You think that because you want it to be true. That's what it is. Get the AI chatbot. I can't wait. The delusion. This man said the emotions are mutual. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
，就是我知道知道你是累，但是你也不能是这么个直播效果。如果是这么个直播直播效果的话，我我我是说我是说，但是你也不能是这么个。How could you let yourself go on camera like this? Oh, because she's tired. Yeah. The thing is, like, you don't want to have somebody go on camera and not look cute and try to, you know, like, do this kind of stuff. It's because the guy is like this. These are the same guys that, um, fucking, like, every time they see a girl, like, a girl posts a picture and she has three different layers of makeup on and she says she looks natural. And the guys are, are, are commenting, like, wow, you know, you should really post pictures with no makeup on more often. Like, okay. <laughs> You know, like, these are the guys that, like, their ideal girl doesn't exist because it's on a TV show. An animated TV show. It's a cartoon. Uh-oh, she's underperforming. She wants to do a just chatting stream and her manager is chewing her out. You yeah, have responsibilities true. to your fans. How could you let yourself go on camera like this? Are you kidding me? She's gonna vanish in the blink of an eye and a new live streamer is gonna spawn from the office. That's true, yeah, you just get replaced. Yeah. Lee. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just in a catatonic state that I'm not blinking and looking forward even though there's other people in the room. Yeah, I'm totally, totally fucking fine. Yeah, everything's totally okay, guys. I'm good. Huh? Yeah, maybe I'll just stick to making YouTube videos. Yeah. I've done a sleep stream before. I think this is a good video. Like, honestly, I, I, I could go on and I could talk about this for so long. Like, I, I could just, I could go on and on and on about this shit. Like, holy shit, that's just so weird. Yeah, it's a real situation, man. You should watch the documentary. Capitalistic greed killing everyone? Bro, before people even knew what the word capitalism was, people were killing each other over greed. Just because you put a name behind it doesn't change the feeling. So I'm not about hearing about I'm not about hearing about your bullshit, okay? Like people have been doing this same stupid shit for all of human history, and there's no reason for me to believe that it's ever gonna stop. I do think that once you get full neural link, you know, like a, a abstraction of reality, right? You know, sword art online style. I think maybe you can uh, you can have some equivalent of uh, existence without scarcity. But I think people want scarcity. They just don't want to have, they don't, they want to have the things that are scarce. Uh, I think that's what it is. And, and so, yeah, greed's a natural instinct. It's all this human time. Well, that's why people exist, because the people that weren't greedy were dead. And so, because the greedy ones took their stuff. And listen, I, this is a great video. I, I've never seen this before. I, I feel like this video should be an hour and 17 minutes. Like, I have, I, bro, I, I have so much to fucking say about this. I love Fillion's videos because he always talks, like, what I like about them is he talks about this fucking, like, these, like, crypto mind games that are being played on the internet that nobody else seems to realize. You know what I mean? I love this shit. So make sure to give him a sub. Uh, he did the Bored Apes Yacht Club uh, Nazi video, which was crazy. I remember watching that on my mainstream. It was amazing. So I hope that this, uh, I hope this is more of what we can hope to see, man. Uh, I'll say that. Uh, I'm now enlightened. Yeah, get him on stream. I have before. Maybe I'll get him on stream again sometime. The TikTok houses in LA. That's actually, no, I forgot about that video. Yeah, it's kind of the same exact thing whenever you think about it. Like, just because people in China, like, they might be a little bit more blunt about how, the, how they're expressing it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's anything different. Like, that's what it is. It's more like men are, are greedy and can't handle themselves uh, who are mentally ill. I, I think people just need to fucking... People need to just stop, like, stop doing, stop doing things that ruin your life. And if you do things that ruin your life, like, there's a lot of people that drink or they gamble or they smoke or they do drugs and they're like, bro, this shit's bad for me, but I do it anyway. I like doing it. It's like, okay, fine. Yeah, right? right? That That's fine. But like the moment that you go and be like, actually, I mean, the fact is that if you look at the studies, there's like a, actually a, just a, like, uh-uh. Let me stop you right there. 
Well, 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 my dad used to, and then he lived until he was, uh-uh, nah, uh-uh, nope. Cut, cut it. Let's do it. Stop being a bitch about it. Yeah, stop some accountability. You gotta own it, yeah. Like, you live in a fucking delusion. Like, anybody that, like, living in a delusion is worse than almost anything else bad that you can do, right? Outside of, like, some real crazy shit, of course. Uh, yeah, you gotta commit to your mistakes, man. Yeah, I, I, that's what it is. True and real. Yeah, coming from recovering out. Yeah, there it is. I had to rob a 7-Eleven because I'm sick. Well, I mean, the thing is, like, so, like, by the way, real quick, a uh, little tip here before we go. We watch the Elden Ring thing. You show up at a 7-Eleven at uh, 12... 24. Uh, it's company policy that you have to replace all of the donuts at midnight. So if you get a donut and you've got a rapport with the cashier, there is a high probability that he will let you get that donut for free. Because he was going to throw it away anyway. I had this relationship with a cashier at uh, 7-Eleven. It was, it was a great guy. Great guy. And so, yeah, experience 7-Eleven Raider. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, you got to know this shit, man. It's true. I used to work at 7-Eleven. Yeah, there it is. You got to know how to play the game, man. I'm going to go ahead and watch this video about uh, Elden Ring DLC. Before I can, I'm going to link this one more time because, again... Uh, I, I love these. These are my favorite kinds of videos. These probably might be some of my favorite kinds of videos to watch if you want me to be totally honest. I love it.